Are we moving? Thank you to Nintendo for sponsoring and approving this portion of our video. We just got Animal Crossing New Horizons and the kids are super excited to check it out. On day one, you get dropped off on a deserted island with nothing and then you get to build up the island to create your own paradise. Okay, Elise, we get to name the island. What do you think? I like J Island. So we're trying to decide where to put our tent. I think somewhere like right there. By collecting materials on the island, you can make tools and furniture and all kinds of stuff. We're, go we're all going to be going to the same island? Yeah, we're can all going to- Can I visit your tent? Yeah, and you're going to build your own tent. We love that everyone in our family, all seven of us, can be our own little character, our own resident on the island, and create our own space. We can to decorate it and beautify it and make it our all own. All right, Caleb set his up right on the beach. <laughs> you can build a house instead of living in a tent. We should do it. Yes, 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 yes. I asked Elise to help decorate my house. Uh -huh. Oh, we decorated our wall. Should we go make some more furniture? Yes. So you can draw your own design. This is perfect. I'm so excited for you guys to see my guy. What'd you do to him? He looks pretty sportsy. He sportsy. Has a gay house shirt, and then I won't tell you the rest. Okay, it's we'll have to see. Whoa! Even has a backpack. I love how many butterflies there are. Did you guys catch all those? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this thing that's over here. Elise is inviting the other kids to join her on the island right now. <laughs> the kids are all going fishing. I really love Elise's little person. I'm going to take off my socks and shoes since I'm at the beach. There we go. I think that's really fun that we are stuck at home right now, but this is a whole virtual world that the kids can explore and play in. So the kids are just checking out my house after I redecorated the inside. You have a drum set? You have a teddy bear? But it looks so cool. I'm learning how to do reactions. I'm talking to Flip. Flip is an NPC island resident. I, I need to talk to Flip. What do you get? It's a big fish. That is huge. A red snapper. We don't have that yet, so you can donate it. Yes, now I'm gonna put it right here. There you go. Click the link below to get more information about Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thanks to Nintendo for sponsoring and approving that portion of our video. I already put dinner in the crock pot this morning and that's always a sign of a good day when dinner is cooking. So far, it's just some broth and onions and chicken in there. It's going to be chicken and rice soup, which I've never made before. I'm a little bit nervous about making a soup with rice in it. I don't really know how to time that so that the rice doesn't turn out too mushy or, I don't know. Well, we're gonna try it. Laura, what are we making this morning? Boolek. What is it? Boolek? Oobleck. Oobleck. What's oobleck? Is this our food? It's not our food. We're gonna play with it. It's called oobleck. Do you want to make it with me? Yeah. Can I see huh? the ublo inside of it? You want to see the ublo? Yeah, until we see it. All right, we'll let you see it. Okay, you dump that on your plate. Whoa. All right. Kind of like a solid. So you can squeeze it like you could play with it, and then when you open your hands, it runs away. It's called a non-Newtonian fluid. Those are big words. These are so messy. Well, sure you're messy. right. That have some oblo to make. Did we make some oblo? Yeah. Can you say oblek? Oblek. You need more water? <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't stop. <don't. laughs> okay. It's like a dog trying off. <laughs> There's kind of like a ball in my hands, but then as soon as you stop, it goes away. So the recipe is one cup of cornstarch, half a cup of water. Play and then clean up. <laughs> so I said I was making this for the kids. Clearly I'm in it to play as well. Oh, here's my big ball of oobleck and release. It's like hard, like you're digging in it to get it out. Okay. And then I make a ball. 
It's so cool. Pretty soon from every corner of the house, the kids come out to play. So I'm cleaning up and it's kind of dried out a little bit and it's making me wonder if maybe we had our proportions off just a little bit. Because now that it's a little bit drier, I can really get it into some better shapes and play with it more like it's like Play-Doh. More like a Play-Doh. Yeah, but as soon as you let go, it still dissolves. Here's the aftermath. It looks really bad, but it's actually really easy to clean up. So a project that I thought would be really fun is to clean up the garden that we have here. The hard part here is gonna try to determine what is a weed and what is an actual plant. Look who's inside. Yeah, first we have to wash it if we wanna eat it. That's true. Then come back outside and garden it. That's what gardeners do. That's what gardeners do. A story is washing off. We need to wash it off with water? Because we're washing our gardener. You're a gardener? Gardeners do that. You go have fun. I'm thinking that these are just weeds. I can tell a tomato plant, but most of those are dying. I might just clear this whole thing out. Okay, pull the weeds out. like the leaf on it, Janae. It was very creative. Do you want to help us clear out the garden space? I don't know. Why not? Pulling weeds is like the funnest thing ever. Go out and pull one of those and tell me you don't love it. I don't love it. <laughs> That's what you told me to say. <laughs> pull it out. You've got to get the root. And it felt good to just dig in the dirt. Being home all the time, we've actually been eating pretty well, but today I'm totally craving comfort foods and chocolate chip cookies are one of my favorite comfort foods, so I'm trying a new recipe today and it looks delicious. Deep question, are you a milk chocolate chips person or a semi-sweet chocolate chip person or a dark chocolate chip person? I'm a dark chocolate chip person, but these are semi-sweet because that's what I have on hand. I feel like the hardest part of making chocolate chip cookies is cooking them correctly. I feel like I'm always waiting to make sure they're done and then they're kind of overdone, but I don't want them to be underdone. It's this hard balance to find. The hardest part for me is the waiting. The timer is timering. Timering. Do you guys think they're done? Yep. I would cook them longer, but then I always end up with crunchy cookies. So I'm gonna go against my intuition and say they're perfect. And then they'll be soft and gooey and Elise is the resident expert. What do you think? They're perfect. All right. It says to let them sit for like 10 minutes. How'd it turn out? I think they work. So are they undercooked, overcooked? Perfect. So right in the middle? Yes. As we continue to try to come up with physical activity things for the kids to do to use up their energy. Uh oh. There's some oobleck on the camera. Okay, so what you do is you sit in a squatting position against the wall and you see how long you can sit here. Lean back and squat down to where your legs are at a 90 degree angle. See how his legs are a cub? You gotta scoot back and get lower. Okay, hands off of your knees. So now we just see how long you can do it. You're doing it, Nay. Good job. On your mark, get set, go. Starting to hurt? Yep, definitely. It's a mind. Ah. You out? Oh, Isaac wins it. He could have gone forever. Could have. Oh. <laughs> so much water in my cup. Did you drink your whole cup of water? Yeah, let me show you. This is Janae's favorite activity filling up cups with water. And I think that's much. 
You are thirsty. So Papa has been working on his life story for a while, writing it down, including pictures, and he just emailed it to Kendra and I and the rest of the family, and Isaac has begun going through it. What are you thinking? I'm loving it so far. I'm about 40 pages in so far, but I just started. There's Papa when he was 12. It's just such a treasure that we can have these stories about his parents and his grandparents, and now my kids can read it and future generations can read it. I'm just so grateful that he took the time to do that, and now the kids are loving it. The one I'm reading right now, he almost builds his own dirt bike. So a question that we've been getting a lot right now is, what are our plans? Are we considering moving back to the United States with everything that's going on? And the honest answer to that is, we have definitely considered it. Yeah. <laughs> we love it here in Puerto Rico. We love our home, we love our yard. And so we've actually, I mean, we have power, we have water, we're good, we're in quarantine just the same way that everybody else is. But life right now is not normal life. It is uncertain and I think when things are so uncertain, you just crave what is known and what feels safe and secure to you because it's what you're used to. And so being out of our comfort zone here already and then going through the coronavirus chaos, for lack of a better word, it's really hard, but I think this has really gotten us thinking about our future plans. How long are we gonna be here? What are we doing this summer? It's really hot in Puerto Rico in the summer and it's hurricane season. So we had been planning on traveling a bunch this summer, but is traveling even a thing we're going to be able to do? Is it time to move back sooner than we were planning? We were planning on being here for a couple years, but we, had actually, we don't know what we're doing. We had actually considered a month long trip to New York that was That's totally definitely something. not something we're considering now. No. So we're trying to figure out what we're going to do this summer and where we want to be moving forward. I really just have to say it again. We love Puerto Rico. We've loved the people here and the experience and the beaches and it's just so beautiful. I hope we come back. But we're definitely planning on leaving for the summer for a couple months and it's hard to know what the future holds. That's just the honest truth of it. And I think that's true for a lot of people right now. A lot of people don't know what their plans are moving forward with everything being thrown up in the air. So the rice in the soup took longer to cook than I planned for and it was still crunchy and then the next time I checked it, it was soggy. So I don't think this turned out exactly as I was hoping but it's definitely edible. There's chicken and rice and veggies in it. Lucy's birthday. We're saying hi on video chat. Janae, say hi to Lucy. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Lucy. Happy birthday. Do you have We eat so much food. 